Uh, I did not repeat uh, what my other colleagues have said, including the Honorable Nyai, that we have come far with this uh, school of specialization. We have come far. 35 is a very, very big number. Nationally, what we are doing with this SOS, we are preparing our learners for the future. The future, we don't know. Future careers, we don't know. None of us can yet predict the 10 years down the line what jobs will be available. We can preempt that they will be informed by technology. That one we can determine. The technology is going to determine the future jobs. But we can't tell what is the future job. None of us can do that. So we need to prepare our kids for that advent reality. Music is one job I know will be sustainable. Uh, one career will always be there. Because entertainment is feel good. You know, it talks to us, it talks to us being humans and it, it connects us. Then I know. But other careers, we can't predict. There are people who are having a job, a career of an influence. They stay home, they take a video of a soap of dab, they get paid by dab, lots of money. That's it, it's a job. They don't have to wake up in the morning. It's a job. Use it. You can undermine it. We have AI that we really, really, really try to, we are getting our children um, to interact with it very, to get a breast with it very early. That's why we think about multi-certification in grade one. Multi-certification, it says for every grade, we are going to give our learners a particular skill that's beyond the curriculum offering. For instance, grade one, we are teaching them robotics and coding. What's up, A? A, I don't know if you don't know. I They know how to code and robotics. That's what we're doing now in schools because we know that by the time that child gets to grade 12, what might have been teaching them might not be relevant by the time they exit. So we are preparing them with different skills drone technology, robotics across as they go up, artism, um, we are teaching them how to do electrification. One SOS in Tembisa, the learners were saying to me, let me see what we have learned. I know how to electrify a house. So in my local community, when there's a problem of electrification, they come to me. What's <laughs> Now we know that with that child, already the career is count. We no longer want to have a leg. You know, in universities, one of the challenges that we have in universities is a blockage in the first year. Because our children in the first year get to university, they do a course they don't even understand or like. And then about who can next year? I'm one friend. Uh, mama, I na kosela ke rati ambola. So we are addressing that, School of Special is addressing also that leg. We are broadening their minds. This is one area, we are broadening your mind, the mind of Banabaru, to think out of the box. And when our children learn to think out of the box, you, they, they start questioning things and they start coming up with solutions. That's what we want. We want our kids when they leave school, when they leave uh, our school here, they go out there and resolve the problems of society. This is what we're trying, what, what, what we want to achieve with the school of specialization.